what is up everyone welcome to a new video and in this video we learn how we can play youtube videos and mp4 videos in our android app and let's see what we're going to build so this is what we're going to build an app that can play this youtube video directly from youtube and a simple mp4 video so let's get started the first thing we want to do is that we're going to our build.gradle to paste a dependency here which is the youtube player dependency and for the mp3 mp4 i mean mp4 video player we don't need a dependency that's that's already there in the android library so we only need this dependency this version this is the latest version that can play youtube videos and yes let's get started so before we get started as you can see i already have an mp4 video here uh, to you can just download any simple mp4 video and go to res right click new underwood resource directory and in here in here you can choose row and click ok it will create this row file for you and then you just paste your video in there uh, that's it and now we're going to create our first function which is the youtube player uh, function so new Kotlin class and file file let's say YouTube player so right here fun first composable it's a composable function YouTube player our YouTube player will take two parameters the first one is of course the video ID which is the YouTube video ID so YouTube video ID which is of type string and the second parameter is the lifecycle owner this uh, library needs needs a lifecycle owner which is this first one and let's now write the code so to actually have this YouTube player view we can't do that directly with just compose because it doesn't exist in compose it's it's only an xml view that's how we'll use an a function called android view that makes us use use xml views in our compose app so we'll write android view factory that retrieves us a context like this and now we can write our view right here so our view is a youtube player view which is this one that takes context dot apply in this apply block now we can add all the parameters or we can do everything in here that this youtube view needs so the first thing we need is that we need to pass our view to the lifecycle observer so we need to write lifecycle owner dot lifecycle dot add observer so we'll pass it right here and the second thing is that we want to add a listener to it so add youtube listener which is this one object abstract this one that has a function on ready which is will, will, that we're going to override so override fun on ready this first one and in here we know that our youtube player view is ready and then we can just load the video so write youtube player dot load video and then we pass the youtube video id which is this one and we also pass the start offset which is just 0f like to start from this first second and that's it actually we have now our youtube player video and we can of course customize it as we want even though it's not an uh, a composable it's a an, an android view or an xml view but this android view function is a composable that this function takes a modifier so modifier modifier dot we can add anything like for example padding let's add 8.dp padding 
on port.tp and we can also add rounded corners to it for example round corners 16.dp like this we can add many more uh, many more things like shadow and basically everything we can add to a composable because this android view is a composable function and yes this is it for this uh, for this function we can also possibly fill the max size so fill max size or at least max width max width like this and let's now call it from our sit content block so youtube play view and first thing we want to pass our youtube id and then the lifecycle owner here i have a simple youtube id and the lifecycle owner we could just write local life cycle owner don't count and that's it let's run the app and see if everything is fine As you can see, there is our YouTube video and it's playing quite fine with rounded corners and as I said, you can add anything else like shadow and customize it as you want. The next part of this video is the simple video player, which is the MP4 video player. So as, uh, as the first one, let's create a class and file, name it video player. Oops, player. Possible fun video player and this one as well needs the URE to that it's going to play so video URE of type URE and the same with this video player actually it's not a composable so we as well need to put it inside an underweight view function so con context and then in here we can write our video view so video view this one from underweight dot widget so it takes context and again dot apply and now we can pass anything that it needs right here. So set video URE, video URE, which is this one that we passed as a parameter to the function. And we can just uh, set the prepare on prepare listener. So on prepare listener. And in here we know that the video is actually ready. So we can play it. So we can just call start like this and we can also add now I mean right now we're already fine but we can add controllers to it so var media controller is equal to media controller and we can pass context to it media controller dot set anchor view which is our video view this this means our video view and in then we can just say set media controller to the video view and then we can pass media controller so what we did in here is that we created our media controller we set its anchor view which is our video view and then we set the media controller to our to our video view as a media controller and that's it let's call this function from set content block in here let's just comment this one out or let's not let's just create a, a common like this and let's put this one inside it put a little spacer height of 16 dp and let's call our video view from here i mean video player function and the URE that I'm going to pass is the URE to our uh, MP4 video that we put in our row file so let's create it var video URE 
is equal to URE dot praise in here we can pass the path to our video so Android dot resources slash and then and then here we write our package name so, um in my case like to get the package name without actually writing it in, to avoid making mistakes we can just copy it from namespace here this is the package name now we can actually paste the package name right here and then we can write slash row slash video or the name of our video in my case it's it's video.mp4 so we can just write its name which is video in this case we'll pass our video re to the function and uh, the same actually before I run this I can add a modifier to make it a little more beautiful so modifier modifier dot uh, padding let's add some padding and let's add around its corners and now let's run the app and see if we can play the vi the mp4 video oops we can't let's see what went wrong so the first thing I'd like to actually in here say uh, fill max size I mean fill max width and let me see the URE if everything is fine with it and yes I actually shouldn't have an S in here And the mistake I made is that I seem to have two comms in here, so I delete one and I'm just going to do this, bring this one to a new line. And let's play the, the run the app and see if the video is going to play. Yes, it is playing and it has a controller and also the YouTube video is playing. So yes, this is how you can play a simple MP4 video in your app and a, a video, a YouTube video as well. There are other ways to do that like the more advanced Excel player which is better. But for the sake of simplicity, I, I'm just using here a video view to just if you want to just play a very simple MP4 video, you don't want to do fancy things with it, this is the way to do it and uh, of course in the future i'll do another video of how to do this with the xo play which is a, a more advanced and gives you more options to actually play the mp4 video so yes this is it for this video see you in the next one and bye